Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 5th of January, uh, it's a brand new year and uh, we don't have a brand new challenge, relatively new though. Um, we've got the Dream Challenge Part 1, we've got Charged Scouts to help us, and the star hero this week is Huntsman Daryl, so get your prowl on. Um, not a great week, uh, there's a couple of difficult maps in here, uh, for Melee, um, particularly Attention Class. Um, so we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, in fact, I think that's the first one we're going to look at. So, attention class, you start in the middle room, and you've got to open three of the cabinets, either on the left or the right, after opening the door. Um, you only have to go one way. In fact, once you've opened one door, you can't open the other. Starts with two normal walkers and a barrel. Early on, Shouldn't be too difficult with Daryl um, and a couple of charged scouts uh, to keep the threat down. Um, I always go right. Not sure why. Uh, I've just always preferred that way. Um, once you've opened the door, it looks a bit like this with uh, two tanks in it. And, uh, yeah, not the easiest room to prowl in. Um, so that's going to gonna make it a bit tricky. Uh, probably drawing them towards the door to uh, prowl back and forth with a couple of scouts is going to be your best option uh, if you're using Star Hero. Um, open the three cabinets and get back to the start. The threat, uh, the incoming, all come in in the middle room. And when the incoming's high, they come in on the line as well as at the top. Uh, so keeping that threat down is pretty important. It's also going to be the round 80 map this week with a one turn incoming with tanks and spikes all starting right on top of you. If anyone does it with Daryl in lead, um, I will be amazed. Um, they're going to have to use a lot of tools, I reckon, to get that one done. Um, as such, I'm not even going to attempt to go clear this week. Um, but good luck to anyone who's trying it. Um, Good team for it will be at higher level, uh, Sashim, Mercer, Yumiko, or uh, Princess Mercer, Yumiko at higher levels, um, but it, it is going to be tricky. Um, the next map is uh, Jailbreak, one of my favourite maps on the set. Uh, you start at this end of the map and you've got two survivors to free. On the right hand side there are three boxes to open. Top box opens the top gates, um, bottom box opens the bottom gates, and the middle box opens all the gates. Um, you have an incoming um, auto spawn at the start uh, from the middle. Once you've closed both gates, it stops the auto spawn, um, and then you've got to get back to the start. The trouble is, at the start, a tank has spawned where it spawns wandering, which can help. Um, and you'll get walkers coming in from the end doors, so it's you want to be as quick as possible. Unfortunately, with the NPCs uh, you free, they can get grabbed, which could be a bit of a pain. However, you can still finish the map while it's grabbed, but you will fail if you can't back, get back to the line in time. Um... That's pretty much it on that one. Daryl's going to be fine for a while. As I say, get to the end, prowl your way back. And uh, if you got beat at a herd or uh, a Z kill to stun and um, push back, might not be too much of a problem. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll show you on that one. Um, beat and lead is a lot easier because you can herd with everyone. And uh, always go for the middle box. There's no point doing the two separate ones as far as I'm aware. All right, next one is Hell Judges. Everyone's favourite random map. Uh, I say it's a random map because the walkers in it can uh, alter from run run to run, from loads of exploders to a couple of spikes. Uh, you start like this and you've got to open the door on the top or the bottom. I always go bottom. Uh, um... And uh, normally one walker in here. And then 
you move over to the right and you can see you've got a tank come through or a spike um, or an exploder. Hope You're hoping for exploders, so take one ranged person with you to uh, blow them up. And then you go further to the right to the third room and there's another two doors. Open that and then the line lights up and you've got to get on the line. Sometimes there is something blocking the line, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but they're all wandering on that side, so you can just uh, not stand in overwatch and you should be alright. Um, as they won't attack you if they're wandering. And then you can just run to the line on the next move. Everyone hates this map, uh, mainly because it's so random. Um, and you sometimes do have to just retry until you get a decent spawn but um it's it can be okay um you can sometimes dodge the spikes um again if you've got Ezekiel pushing them back and interrupting them it might not be so bad this time but we'll we'll see uh next map is called day at the office which is a killer walkers which starts with two walkers on the map and you all spread out and a couple of barrels Every turn, a couple more walkers will spawn, including tanks and spikes. And it ends up looking a bit like this. Um, it's not going to be a fun one for Daryl, uh, leading scouts. Um, once you get to the 50s uh, difficulties, um, until then, scouts and free scouts, maybe. Maybe a, a warrior in there as well to, to keep them stunned. But yeah, not not going to be fun. Uh, kill things quick so that you've got more space to prowl, I guess, would be the best thing to do. Um, maybe a shooter with cripples so you can blow the barrels if you want. And also interrupt any walkers whilst, if you leave them in overwatch that are coming at you. Um, escape map is next. Uh, on this one, you can go left or right. Why you would go right, I have no idea. Uh, you've got two spikes to deal with and a couple of riots. Left, you've got normal walkers and auto spawns. Um, I always go left. Usually with beater and lead to herd uh, stuff up and then kill it. Um, there's a gate on the left you've got to open, which is three turns? Two turns? Two or three turns. Um, it says on the start screen um, of this video. Um but yeah, go left, keep things stunned. Uh, Huntsman Daryl with bruise, uh, warriors, uh, you should be able to prowl enough and keep enough stuff stunned with that uh, to get you through safely for quite a while. Um, if, you, if you're if you a crazy person, you can go right, but I did that once and thought, no chance. So uh, yeah, go left, get on the gate as quickly as possible and just crowd control uh, with the... Um, keep everything stunned. I believe that the auto spawns work, he spits one out uh, in alternatively, so you'll have one from the bottom right and one from the top left. I think that's how it works, um, which is quite good because you know where the next one's coming from. Uh, next map is building blocks, and uh, you've got open three crates, two on the left, one on the right, uh, Peter Glenn, your friend here. Um, when you open these crates, you'll spawn a spike from the left as well as an assault freeman. So you want to be able to get from the. You want to be able to open the box on the left first, then the one on the right. Uh, hopefully, using Pizza Glenn to open them both in the same turn. Then run to the right where there is a feeding walker and um, open the last crate with Glenn and get out on the same turn. If that, I believe it's a tank, although it looks crazy in this screenshot. Can you zoom in on that? What on earth is that? <laughs> um, yeah, it, oh, it's a tank. Yeah, it's a tank feeding. <laughs> looks weird. Um, a tank feeding on a person, so you want to try and get out before that tank stops feeding. But if not, then you, if you can get to the bottom line, it can't reach you and you can get out. One of the easier maps on this set, usually. Um, 
it's just those uh, starting two walkers you need. Uh, I think there's three walkers that you need to deal with. Hopefully, a couple of charge scouts will take them down. Certainly up to uh, up to 50, you should be okay. Um, and that's it, apparently. That's all six of them. So, not the not the nicest of map sets, but there are some tick, tri tips and tricks to help you through. I'll try and get some commentary videos up quite early this week, um, later this evening. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.